So, it's me, your little boy, Kisanse. I hope this video to give us chosen ones. If you feel like giving up, this is for you choosing ones. If you feel like giving up, this message is for you. I know that we are celebrating, we are jubilating, but there are still a lot of people out there who are feeling a lot of things. There are a lot of people out there who are not celebrating. I believe and I know because I can remember in years back when people were celebrating everywhere, people were killing cow, you know, killing all sorts, all sorts of things, celebration. I was also in that midst of trying to give off in 2019 when I was hopeless, homeless, no hope, nothing. But all glory be to God that God do it in his own way. And that is why I'm here to tell you. If you feel like giving up, remember what the Bible said in the New Testament, that there is a hope for the living. Meaning that no matter what you are going through, no matter what you are passing through, as long as God is God, as long as God is God, there is a hope. I know that there are a lot of people who are in prison today, not because they are accurately what, uh, um, how will I put it, they, they are messed up, not because of the fact that they did something wrong, because of envy and jealousy, they end up like that. I am here to tell you there is a hope. I know that there are a lot of people in hospital today. You know, I can remember when I went to hospital here in Italy in 2018. I saw a lot of people. Even in this year, anytime I pass some hospital places, I do used to see a lot of people. I don't know what your situation may be. I don't know what the circumstances around you may look like. But I'm here to tell you there is a hope. There is a hope for the living. You know, the Bible said, the endless and expectations of the sons of God will not be cut short. And the Bible make it clear in the book of Jude 2.25. It said, I will restore the years that the kank and worms and caterpillar have destroyed. Meaning that no matter what you have lost, no matter the circle, no matter who you are, there is also a restoration prepared for you. That is what happened in the book of Esther. You know, when you read the book of Esther, chapter 4, each chapter 3, each chapter 5, you come to understand that despite of everything that Esther went through, Esther was innocent. He was accurately what innocent. There is no there is no guilty fine in her. But yet people a man keep troubling them. Why? Because of envy. That is why I said earlier, there are a lot of people today who are in prison, not because of the fact that they are they are guilty, but because of the fact that people are jealous of what God has given to them. A lot of people today are in different places. Praying for God intervention. Hear me and hear me good. God is not what deaf. God have an appointed day to release you. Is this spiritual what engagement? Is this spiritual cage? Is this spiritual downfall? God have an appointed day. Remember that he who call upon God, according to the book of Matthew 5, 7, he said, call upon me, I will answer you and show you mighty things that you have not known of. of. He said, seek and ye shall find, ask it shall be given. What is that that you are going through? That any time you look around you, any time you look around your life, it looks like your past is better than your present. I'm here to tell you, there is a still hope. So, you have to understand, Paul said to us, he said, be courageous for everything will work well for us. That is why you need to understand, despite of everything that the man in the gate going through, when he still need Peter, Peter still tell him, see fast and good I have not, but that which I have, I give unto you. I have nothing to give you. I may not be in that position to tell you this, but I am here to tell you there is still hope. Don't give up yet. Don't feel, don't quit. 
there is a greater hope. Jesus said to them, He said, I will go to my father and prepare a table for you, even in right front of your enemy. What does that mean? That no matter what you are going through, what people are using to mock you, there is accurately a hope for you. No matter what people have used, or how many people that rejected you, there is a still hope for you. It does not matter where the level you are right now. All I'm here to tell you is that there is still a hope. For everything we end up working well. Think about it. Nobody believed that David will end up become a king. Nobody believed that Joseph will end up become a ruler. Nobody believed that Esther will end up become a queen. Nobody believed that Jabez will end up become the first to do things. Despite of all the situation, the circumstances that was within them. So that is to tell you that there is a thought that God has for you that is higher than what you are going through. That is to tell you that there is a greater thought that God has for you that is higher than the thought your enemies are giving you. Do not be afraid. God, you know, the angels of the Lord said to Mary, O ye Mary, that shall give bed to a child and his name shall be called a man which under him shall come all kinds of rules god is with us so that is to tell you that there is a hope for you it does not matter where you are there is a hope it does not matter who betrayed you there is a hope remember bless me god bless you